Ravens. You have a quarterback duel with Trevor Lawrence. Definitely got to worry about him. Devin Leary, I like their backup. Travis Etienne, dog. Like their backfield. Nice fullback as well. And the receiver, we got to worry about Calvin Ridley and Kirk. They're both going to be a problem. They're going to be a handful, but they got, they got good awareness. Jay Jones can be a problem at times. Uh, they got young John Domingo and Tim Jones. Evan Ingram, A.J. Barner. Evan Ingram won't be a handful. Marius Mims. I did think they did a really good job getting this line together. They're young so far. Very young so far. Brandon Sheriff, dog, veteran. Oh, no, right. They got a really good offense on the young line. That's young. This team is going to be a problem going in the future. They got Mike Morris. Zach Harrison. That's Vanessa. Isaiah Reeks. Ken Junker Brown. a little better there. That's a little rookie. They, they're young. Super young. Carter, 6 7. Yeah, this team is young. They might be on our side of the thing with the youngest. Got good speed at middle linebacker. What happened to the guy? He on another roster? Nah, yeah, there he is. Oh, no, no, he's right here. There's my lawyer, Chad Muma. Go from there. Trayvon Walker. I like their cornerback room. This team young. They got a young football team. This should be a really good matchup with us. They brought in Jalen Thompson, Andre Sisko still here. Jacarius Conley out of North, uh, North Carolina. CJ Garner Johnson and Khalid Bullock. They did a hell of a job drafting. Like their draft class is, a couple of draft classes are really, really good. The Jacksonville Jaguars, this is going to be a very interesting uh, division when it comes down to us, the Colts. The Jags, the Colts. I like what the Colts did. Obviously, we love what we did, but I like the Jaguars roster. And even the Titans, like... AFC South going, like, as we develop and get older, AFC South going to be a little problem. Okay. Like what we see. All right, so when it comes to the Jaguars, they are 2-9. This team is going to be able to, uh, you know, they're going to be able to pick and continue to build their team through the draft. And you can see it. You can see the makeup of their team. They already got a lot of super seasoned veterans on their team. They got a very young line offensively and defensively. They got young players. You know, they could get a little bit better at the receiver position, but I like Kirk and Calvin really to hold them down until they get some guys developed or bring some guys in through the draft. But this team, I mean, they got to get some weapons for Trevor, uh, Trevor Lawrence, but they everything else around them is the makeup of this team is really good. They have young talent. They're going to get better, right? Not everybody can be have young talent playing at a high level like Coach Prime does with this Houston Texans team. A little different right now. We playing at our ultimate high level, 11-0. I mean, doing the unexpected. Unexpecting. I don't necessarily think it's keys to this game. What I think this type of game is Two young football teams, divisional, you know, uh, pretty much rival teams. They're divisional matchups, so th they're big games. So the records go out the door, and the fact that, you know, both teams are very young, uh, anything can happen in this game. I think the real conversation of this game is Trevor Lawrence and Shador Sanders. Quarterback duel. Who's going to out-duel each other, right? What quarterback? 
is going to come up and step up and play. I just think the Houston Texans are in a better situation right now. They are flying high, right? And I do think they still have the better roster. They got the better weapons at receiver, their offensive, and then and then their secondary is dynamic. These guys, I mean, although they give up a lot of passing yards, they are stingy on defense. They make people turn the ball over a whole lot. This team is the number one team in the league when it comes down to defensive turnovers. So Trevor Lawrence is going to have his hands full with this secondary. Um, and at the same time, Shador Sanders and the Trevor Lawrence shootout should be. Let's see if it's a shootout or if it's going to be one-sided when it comes down to this matchup. But the key to this game is Shador versus Trevor, right? Can Jacksonville Jaguars defense hold it down to, sh- to hold Shador uh, under his averages and, you know, give him his first loss of the year? Or does the Texans defense, you know, go out there and show – we play we play against the best quarterback and he's going to show you guys he's the best quarterback and we're going to help him deliver that message by shutting down the Jaguars offense we got a Thursday night 820 game kickoff when we come back